name is uh, Jin Yao Chong. I'm in the uh, quanta cloud technology portion of the house. Uh, I think by now, you've probably heard enough about software-defined. And as you can see, software-defined by default is you want to have a way to virtualize compute, storage, network, and even more to your data center. And so as this software-defined journey involved is you want to use the software uh, to provide the flexibility, the full tolerance, the high availability. But you will see the other key interesting angle is as a service. So how can you to enjoy more of the as a service by the software defined? I want to say is, if you listen to our President Mike's visions and also our VP James Zhao's pitch of how we build the world-class server. So you can see the journey is we build a world-class server. So our transformation is given our world-class server, given the trend on software defined, how can we converge or build a synergy among the platform and the software? And so in the following portion, we are going to elaborate more on our view on the software defined data center and how this evolving in the world from private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud. Uh, I will skip this. So, Interesting enough, two years ago, uh, we have our opening. You know, when we moved into this facility uh, early in that year, but in September, two years ago, we are our first event, and we opened our door, and outside you'll see we have a very nice uh, showcase of our cloud solution center. Since then, we have, working with our partner, we have a lot of uh, output or result. So first, we have been working with VMware, our partner, and we built a hyper-converged solution using the pre-validated hardware, auto and fully deployment, and for quick time to, so that's a, uh, we have used to call a Evo SDPC, now called a Cloud Foundations. After that, we have been uh, last year, uh, we was invited uh, by Microsoft to join uh, their called WSSD Windows System Software Defined. The concept now, I think, a lot of uh, uh, from the software ISV point of view is we call this ready or integrated. Basic is you take a certain kind of a hardware configuration. And QCD is quite a unique position is, uh, as you can see, we work with all the major key components from SSD, hard drive, PCIe, NVMe, NICA. So based upon the workload, the, 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 a lot of challenge we're facing is people saying, I want workload that was for IO for Supra, or they're looking for the configuration for capacity, right? Basically, I'm doing more backup archive. Or as something I'm looking for the compute environment. And so uh, we have uh, certified <coughs> with the Microsoft. Then early this year, uh, we are very proud. Uh, we have been recognized by SM Magazine. So we have a project among a bank, uh, we call the ESAM Bank, and and Microsoft and us, and we deliver a solution, a private cloud solution. Obviously, we demonstrate uh, cost saving and quick time to deployment and helping the customer uh, to deploy. They have a primary side, second side, and a backup side. So that will be recognized. Going onward, uh, we also working with uh, Red Hat and we build up uh, a reference architectures uh, you know, uh, 
in the software defined, one of the aspect as of software defined is the data and multiple copy, and so by default, you'll be losing some kind of drive, some of the node. The system continues to perform, but with a degraded performance. Uh, and so we had Red Hat build this public private cloud. And then uh, in early this summer, uh, we, um, we refresh our VMware offering uh, with a partner, and we, that's a cloud foundations. And last month, at Ignite, as uh, we will announce our Intel Select SQL solution at Ignite. And as you can see, it's a, it's a, a synergy we continue to build between us by leverage our front servers. You know, the servers have all kinds of attributes, onboard GPUs, uh, NVMe, neural processor technology. And so we will continue this journey. But it's always interesting to look at the market, right? And we just take a, a snapshot from the IDC report in 2016. And 2016 IDC report saying from 2015 all the way onward to 2015 to 2020, uh, the curve going up from 67 billion to 2020, 162 billion. And the uh, paper is 19% now. My view is this number it's just for looking. You look at Gardner, you look at others, the number is one always bigger than the other. But the what we lesson learned is it's going, right? The cloud adoption continues to move up. And if you look at the detailed breakdown, right? Uh, it, it, it always starts for us as a service, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. And then there's a called a system infrastructure as a service, and the last one is a software as a service or application as a service. It depends on what term you like to use. Uh, so the key we want to say this is the infrastructure portion continue to grow, and, and um, now they are cloud, including public and private cloud. So it's good we are in the market, have a very healthy growth rate, and continue to move to the top right corner. And that's what we want to enjoy. Now, we keep saying uh, software defined, and I think Mike already mentioned, there are three key components of software defined, right? You virtualize your compute, you virtualize your storage, and then you virtualize your network. And so this is a, a vision, I think, uh, about three, four years ago, we look at this. And then obviously, from vertical point of view, we work with a major virtualization technology, right? Could be Microsoft, could be VMware, could be OpenStack. And so I think this is what we call our execution and our plan. And based upon this, uh, and then of course, most currently the container and Docker is gaining a lot of uh, interest. Uh, it, it will help you to migrate or we call the Cloudify or the digital transformation. So, in this, the other part, I think we are very, we can say proudly to say why, what's uh, in the synergy point of view, what QCD bring to the table, right? I think our QCD value is, it could be a highlight in this way. Number one, our server, right? Like uh, our VP James said earlier, uh, in the last 14, 15 years, we go through all these uh, uh, what they call releases, and we follow the information trend, right? We build server uh, by customer, and we our server have been adopted by all these uh, hyperscaler. If you don't know, I think we power most of all the major hyperscaler. So our server design have been validated, but interesting enough, like you see here earlier about those AI machines is those hyperscaler due to their customer need. We also build server for workload specific. And because of this, I, we, are con we are confident our server can sustain the, any kind of workload. 
the other angle we all keep seeing many many times is uh, for all the virtualization technology could be VMware, could be Microsoft, could be OpenStack they have their own uh, validations, they have their own benchmark so a lot of world have been we call the heavily lab tested, validated and optimized because we are looking today most of people are looking for integrated system right if you order software and hardware separately a lot of challenges at the end is put it together the driver is not right the firmware is not right the version is not right right so how we make sure we get the most out of it right and then of course we also have our management toolkit uh, so when we look at this we have this firm called one star shop right come to us uh, I think you can see all the different uh, potential virtualization technology, software defined network, software defined storage, and all the virtualization technology. And we also have our solution center outside. I think we have, a, like mentioned many, many times, we do have ISD rack uh, like in action in our solution center. If you're interested, we can show it to you. It's light, noisy, but it's running. So, go, if we go into further detail, right, from the hybrid cloud point of view, right, by now you hear enough of a hybrid cloud. Our hybrid cloud, we work with VMware, we have cloud foundations. Cloud foundation is specially built 4 to 28, 4 to 24 nodes, rack based, fully integrated solution, factory installed, optimized, certified wrong to your side, running right away in a few hours. Uh, OpenStack world, we have, we have uh, Ubuntu, uh, private cloud, we have an uh, automatic deployment tool, uh, we provide a toolkit, optimize, we have all the compute node, storage node, software defined network, Red Hat, OpenStack, uh, same thing. And we also have a uh, Microsoft private cloud, based on 2016. So you can visit us, go up to us, you can see all different private cloud <coughs> variety. Now when next we move into the software defined storage. Software defined storage in the virtualization uh, world, obvious VMware have their vSAN ready now, their vSAN and so VSAN ready now have been more ready, more recently. Like we have go through this uh, VMware VSAN certifications. Whether you're looking for high ops, high performance, you're looking for cost, capacity, or you're looking for regular computer. And we have been working with Cloudian for quite some time. Cloudian offer S3 compatible object storage. In there, they provide an enterprise. And they do have a we have Cloudian appliance. Red Hat has Ceph and and Gluster. Ceph is provide file block object and Gluster is more file based. And Heavy is as you hear from Tech Mahindra, uh, is one is a, they are building block for the storage service. It's a unified file system. Uh, big data platform from the structured side and the unstructured side. Unstructured side, we have been uh, validated and work with uh, the three major big Hadoop distribution, Caldera, Hortonworks, and MapReduce. And we, what our position is, our uh, configuration, we build a reference architecture, go through the validation with this. For the, that's on the left-hand side, that's unstructured data set. On the right hand side is a structure, that's a SQL 2016 uh, appliance. And we have a big data appliance with Microsoft uh, Analytic Platform System. It's a SQL data warehouse on top and a HD inside. And of course, we also have a, a virtual data initiative, the VDI, that's the uh, appliance. So, given said that, and you hear about our partner. Uh, from, from, uh, okay. uh, so what we're saying is the next step is what all the cloud, cloud continue adoption bid is about, uh, we're saying it's about 85% hit 
people have this cloud strategy. So clouds continue to move. And what we want moving forward, right? We hear about the, the hybrid cloud adoptions, uh, all kinds of asset services. So we were working with our partner to bring this hybrid cloud uh, to our, help our customer and we work with our customer, uh, our partner for the hybrid cloud adoptions. So as you can see is we are still quite busy and we'll continue to work with our partners. And so in the cloud data center is a platform is a venue. Uh, we, we engage our customer, uh, work with our partners for validate new ideas. And uh, right now, we do have three locations of our cloud data center, San Jose, Dusseldorf, and Taiwan. Uh, we have one right outside, so you have time. So in the afternoon, uh, we have a software-defined tracks. Our partner from Avna, VMware, and Red Hat going to share their point of view. And we do have a kiosk, uh, like Hack My Intro on the storage and service, Red Hat Ceph, VMware Cloud Foundation, and vSAN. Our big data analytics platform and our Azure Hybrid Cloud. So do spend time at your leisures and thank you very much. <laughs>